how I got involved in the apprenticeship, um, it was uh, when I was at school. We went to a place called Neat, which is a training school, and we'd done a, like a portfolio. It was about uh, it was like about a clock, and we, within this clock we had to like design it. We had to go and research materials and stuff. And what involved there was a lot to do with design and production. And I really enjoyed that with school. So and so from then I just chose that and then went on to Neat and went on from there. So basically it was through school. Well, when I first started the company. Um, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to go into and uh, the company gives you the option where you can go around the civil department, you can go around mechanical and electrical which are the three main parts around the company and I went around all three and the thing that I found with mechanical and why I chose to stay in that uh, department was as in like say mechanical compared to electrics, you can't see electrics, you can't work with it with your hands as much and so like, you can't see how it works as much as mechanical, as you can see and like, feel and touch with mechanical. And I found it a lot more practical and I found it a lot more interesting personally to me. Well, currently I'm on site in Brand Sands and uh, over there doing like a water treatment plant. And uh, I've been around there for seven months. And usually on a usual day, um, I, get, I get up and I'm usually at, at work for around about half seven. And then basically, like I'm, uh, I'm going on site and I'm doing stuff on my computer. Like I'll go on site, mark up such things as pipe supports, go and have a look around, see if, like uh, like all valve tags. Doing commissioning at the moment on the site, and then usually you're having your dinner and then you're working around until about four, half four. Great thing about my apprenticeship for me is what is earning money whilst I learn, and also gives me opportunity because like such a big company where I'm at in such a good career. I know that like the future is bright. As long as I work hard at the moment, I know that I can go and progress and do things what I want to do in life and hopefully progress through it. At school, I knew about it, but I didn't know how, how big it is and how much uh, there's a lot of things involved in engineering instruction. And it's a really good, it's a really good thing to get into as well. There's loads of work, I like, and travel with it. And you can, there's a, there's a lot of money to be earned in it. There's, and there's great careers involved in it which you can progress and go on to do whatever you like. I'd say apprenticeships are really good because it's not all just about the practical. You do go to college as well and you do your practical bits and so like you're learning both sides of like like you like you learn both, you're getting your experience, which is also very vital for when like you're leaving school or college and universities and you're getting like a lot of experience and hands-on experience. Also you're getting your tickets and you're getting all your paperwork and all your grades and stuff and all the companies are paying you through that so it's all free as well as well as getting paid as well which is good.